Just want to finish up my house tour real fast. If you're just now tuning in, um, this is the last video in a whole series that I've done of a small house tour to kind of invite you into our home and tell you a little bit about how we're living life here in this um, 1,200 square foot house, which is kind of a smaller house for a family of eight. And I've been sharing some organizational tips and whatnot. So check out my other videos as well. But this is the last segment. This is our master bedroom slash utility well this is where we have our washer and dryer so this room is on the back of the house and it is a pretty small room um i'm gonna stand kind of well where i can stand and go around here in a circle there you can see our bed it's a king size bed and it fills the whole room that was one thing we didn't think about when we were first getting married that a king size bed would be so big in our house we just were thinking oh sleeping together we're gonna need lots of space so that's our bed <laughs> and we have two windows in here and we have kind of redone this room I painted it it was about two years ago and um, we do a lot of homeschooling in here because when we closed the door this room was an addition to the house and so it has outside walls on both sides and so it actually ends up being really quiet so it's a great room for studying and it's a great room for sleeping. Um, it's often where I put the baby down for her nap. Pause for a second. It's not so noisy in the background. Okay. So it's often where we put the baby down for a nap. It's often where I study and um, prepare for things. Uh, it's like my getaway spot um, in a small house. That's one hard thing to find is a place to be quiet and where you're not gonna be distracted by constant noise and distraction. So that's what this is. I'm probably gonna make some videos in here too because I don't really have like a space I can set aside for a studio um, for making videos. So yeah, you'll probably see this room quite a bit. And um, as far as organization goes in this room, we don't have anything fancy going on. We had to put the washer and dryer hookup in here because we didn't have another space for it. There is no utility room, uh, utility closet in this house. There was no washer and dryer hookup when we moved in. And so we added it here. Um, and we were originally thinking that this small room here would be our family closet. And we would keep all the clothes in here next to the washer and dryer which is really good in theory, but it just didn't work out practically because um, it would require building a fourth bedroom um, and converting like that front room where we have our living room into a bedroom was kind of our thought originally and having a hallway. Anyway, it was a lot of work and we just decided, you know what, that's too much. We're not gonna be living here that long anyway. So we're just gonna make do with what we have going on here and then um, down the road, we'll just be renting this house out and we'll live somewhere else. And so we'll worry about a family closet in our next house. So anyway, all that to say, um, my husband and I, when we were doing the family closet thing, I got rid of all of our dressers and I loved that. I loved not having dressers and I loved having all the clothes together. But, um, I'm, since then I've moved all the clothes back into the rooms. And so for now we're temporarily keeping all of our clothes on this wooden shelving unit which is also from ikea i think these are about 25 dollars each they're such a steal of a deal and ikea also sells the sells these little metal shelves here and they sell these blue boxes and black boxes <coughs> for putting things in so that way we can kind of keep our under things discreetly concealed and then i have piles here of Clothing. I do try to follow kind of a minimalist approach to my wardrobe and I just keep what I like currently, what's in season, and I'm <clears throat> I don't really need a whole lot of clothes because I'm a stay-at-home mom. So I just have a few nice outfits that I wear when I go out, and mostly I'm hanging out in my comfy clothes here at home. And um <clears throat> so I don't have a ton of clothes and I really like it that way. And I like just being current to what I like. Um and not having a bunch of extra stuff. And my husband is the same way. He doesn't need a whole lot of clothes. He wears the same things no matter if he has huge stacks of clothes or not, which our kids do the same thing. They wear whatever is on top, whatever is easiest to grab. Um, I will be doing a switch out of our wardrobes here in another month or so, getting ready to go from winter to summer. And I'll be sure to show you a little bit of how we kind of manage 
clothing, which is huge. Having a lot of clothing means you have a lot of laundry. And I have a working laundry system that works for me. I just do one load every day. I wash it, I dry it, and then usually I fold it. Um, but I don't fold it the same day. I usually fold it the next day. I fold it while I'm teaching reading to my children because reading is the most frustrating subject in the world and having something to do with my hands while I'm listening to a child read um, helps me to stay calm. And so I will fold laundry while I'm reading with the kids and then I also fold laundry sometimes while I'm exercising and I will just like wiggle around and fold laundry and it works really great. I thought I might make a video about that. We'll see. <laughs> so anyway, this is the master bedroom and this completes the tour of my home. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, go be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have lots more videos coming up soon. And I'm so glad that you could come visit with me. See you later.